What is up you guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to our apartment. We currently live in a two bedroom, two bath plus den apartment just a few cities away from downtown Seattle. In terms of square footage, it's around the 12 to 1300 square feet range. The style that I was going for for this apartment is minimal, warm, inviting with a really big emphasis on different mixes of furniture styles, furniture shapes, textures, materials, and most importantly, I wanted to cultivate a space that not only was welcoming for my guests, like my friends and my family, but was also functional and modern enough to suit a growing family. So that's what you guys are gonna see in today's video. I'll walk you guys through the space, talk about sort of my design choices that I made throughout the apartment, and hopefully this video serves as some sort of inspo for you guys. So let's get into this apartment tour. Before we dive into the full tour of the space, I wanna share with you guys some of my favorite moments throughout my apartment. I love how everything turned out and came together. And as the video goes on, I'll be sure to share with you guys everything more in detail. I want to highlight my favorite new in pieces from Article. Thank you to Article for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Article makes it easy to attain a beautiful and modern space. Article offers high quality furniture at a great price and is designed to last. In stock items deliver fast with estimated times on each product page. Article also offers front door delivery almost anywhere in the USA and Canada for a flat rate of $49. Free shipping is available on orders over $999. Also available, which is a service that I used, are inside room and assembly services. Article has pretty much anything that you guys are going to need to make your space feel that much more like a home. And I'll be sure to have everything within my apartment linked down below for you guys. Now let's dive into the full in-depth tour of the space. So this is the living room area. Every single piece in here is a piece that is brand new. I haven't shown it on any of my previous apartment tour videos. So I'm really excited about how this style for the living room turned out in this apartment. I humbly think that this is the best sort of design in terms of a living room design that I personally have ever done. So I wanna walk you through just the various and widest room of little moments and just intentionality behind the design sort of choices that I made for the living room. All right, so the star of the show for the living room is definitely the new couch. This couch right here is from Article. I love this couch for so many reasons. One, of course, top being that it's obviously nice to look at. This right here is a modular couch. So you see there's this one big piece right here, and then there's a bigger piece on this side that kind of makes more of like this L sort of look and feel. I love this couch right here because it can grow with us as our family is growing because it is modular. So you can always add on more pieces. I love the fabric that this couch was made with. To be completely transparent, there has been so many mishaps in terms of like accidents, stains and all that stuff. And it has cleaned up so nicely before I filmed this video. So shout out to Article for making such an amazing piece. Again, not only is it nice to look at, but it serves a really great functional purpose as well as an aesthetic one as well. This couch does come in another color that I really like, but of course for my sort of style and my interior taste and look and feel, I wanted to get more of this neutral color right here. I had my wife step back all the way up in there into our hallway so I can just show you guys the massiveness and the depth of this couch right here. In addition to all of the things that I already said as to why I love this couch from Article, the most important thing actually, now that I really think about it, is I love how deep and how comfortable it is. This couch right here comfortably fits me, my wife, our baby, and our two dogs. So as you saw, there was like this regular piece right here, and then there's this L piece right here. We low-key be fighting over this L piece right here because it's just so comfy. So I'm going to sit on it, and my wife is just going to stay where you are. You guys can, you tell me. So I'm here, right? Chilling, watching the TV. There's plenty of space for my wife, our baby, and our two dogs. And they really like about the article couch as well is it has really big arms. And if you have a dog or a cat or any sort of pet, I think they're gonna really like it because they use it as like a ledge to look out the window. So yeah, the couch, again, from Article 10 out of 10, can't recommend enough. Some other favorites in terms of new pieces within the living room is this media unit right here. I love the warmth that it brings to the underneath the TV area, as well as I love how functional it is because it has so much storage. 
here's a closer look at that really nice sort of warm wooden tone and i'll show you guys kind of the inside as to what i keep in here so as you can see this media unit has so much storage potential you can really put whatever you want in here I personally put all of my barware, any sort of like alcohol, serving bits, extra mugs, extra cups, all that stuff that is in here. And then on the bottom shelf, you'll kind of see there is just some extra like cleaning stuff. Here is just a direct straight on shot from the couch. And as you can see, the media unit just, again, really finishes off this area super nicely. One of the key things that I wanted to introduce into this space was more curvature with my furniture pieces. As you can see, a lot of the things are really angular, like the couch the media unit, all that stuff. So you'll kind of see, especially in this living room, I really tried to play up different sort of shapes. And so that brings me to our new coffee table. I love this coffee table right here. I love the travertine top with the walnut leg. I really like how it brings in two different styles of new elements with the, again, unfinished, really nice sort of natural travertine on the top. And then that more darker, warm walnut finish with the legs. So right behind our living room area, which is where the couch and the coffee table and the media unit was, is our new dining area. The dining table and the dining chairs are again from Article. Similar to what I said about the couch, same goes for the dining chairs and the dining table. So the reason why I chose this dining table is our previous one was just a rectangle shaped dining table and it was great. It served its purpose. We had it for a while, but I just again in the clip that i was when i was talking about the living room i just wanted to introduce more rounder elements more curvature in our space because i feel like that is just what makes a home or even an apartment feel that much more homey and warm and inviting there's just something about rounded furniture that just i don't know it just it just feels more inviting and that's what i want my guests to feel whenever they come over whether it's my family my friends anyone i just want them to feel like they're at home they're welcomed and they can just kind of sit wherever they want to sit kind of going to the dining table from article this bad boy right here is a whole unit it is so heavy it is so just big and so amazing to look at the base is so nice in terms of kind of the way that it's structured and the way that it was built it not only of course serves as the base for the dining table but it kind of almost acts as this like structural sort of element and kind of design that's really nice to look at as well as the warmth of this dining table the color and the wood and the material used for this piece is just so nice it really does warm up this dining area and I kind of finish it off with these dining chairs from Article. Again, I really like sort of mixing the warm tones with touches of black. So we went for this black wooden dining chair. It has that really nice curved back. So while you're sitting in it, it does feel comfortable. I love how the legs don't just go straight down. They kind of have that really nice slant to them. And then the actual material for these dining chairs are just truly 10 out of 10. You can see the quality of the wood that was used to create these dining chairs. I love how you can see the grain. It just makes it look so much more luxurious. The light coming through the apartment is just so good right now. So I wanted to kind of record this quick clip just to show you guys all of the grain in the dining chairs, the warmth of the dining table, and just the way that all of the curves, the shapes and everything really make this dining area that much more special. All right, so this is the kitchen. You guys saw the clips. I feel like the kitchen is you know it's just a rental so it's nice it's not my personal like everything is perfect type of thing but for the most part it does the job my wife she's behind the camera right now she does all the cooking i'm more so just focusing on the drinks and the coffee situation so that's kind of what i want to highlight right now so to the right of me is my new like just holy grail purchase it is the rebel barista express so i have a particular setup so i kind of want to walk you guys through it if any of you guys are coffee lovers just like me all right so as i mentioned this is my new baby you can ask my wife i literally love this machine so much you can kind of talk in the background if you want oh yeah he makes my coffees for me almost every day <laughs> yeah so like i said i have a particular setup this right here is a bottomless porter filter it is not the standard one that it comes in i kind of like the touch of walnut right here this 
is a specific pitcher with a sharp sort of spout. So when you are attempting to make like latte art or if you're just attempting to make like hot drinks, this is really great. I love the silicone kind of protection right here so the thing doesn't get like really hot. Shout out to my wife's family for gifting me this as well as these right here. These are just really nice ceramic earth tone espresso mugs. So when the shot is pulling, if you're making an ice drink, obviously you don't have to use like this or if the cup doesn't necessarily fit underneath the machine, you can have this. You just pour it in the cup and that's that. And then to the right here, we just have some other things. I will be sure to leave all of my favorites in terms of the Barista Brevo Express down below in the description box. But yeah, like I said, I have a very specific sort of setup. If you are an espresso, for lack of a better word, snob like myself, I think you guys are really gonna enjoy the sort of extra accessories that I have. And then of course, had to finish it off with more of a decor sort of element right there, which is the Chanel book. Yeah, everything will be linked down below. So now that I showed you guys my espresso machine and like the accessories and stuff, Something that I feel like as I've gotten older that I've been kind of just really, for lack of better words, obsessing over is anything ceramic mugs or drinkware. Again, you can ask my wife who's recording this clip. I'm obsessed with like all things cups, glasses, and all that stuff. So I just kind of wanted to run you guys through my favorites. Um, let's start with this one right here. I feel like the reason why I love cups like this and mugs like these is because I'm all about just kind of making the little moments in life that much more special. So I know it sounds silly, but if I could drink water out of a nice glass, it just makes drinking water that much better. Same goes for if I'm going to drink coffee out of a mug, this one right here, as well as this one right here, my personal favorites. I like anything that looks a little bit more worn in, something that just kind of offers that nice sort of imperfection look and feel. This one is obviously a bit more of a warmer option and this one's more of a cooler option. Again, these are my favorites. If you just kind of want to step up your coffee game or just like your drinking game, I'll leave these linked down below for you guys. We are in the primary bedroom right now and this is where my personal closet is be sure if you guys haven't already make sure to watch i did like a whole vlog about my closet organization skills kind of like what some little tips and tricks that i like to do on how to organize my closet but i'll just kind of give you a sneak peek if you're new here um so this side right here is where i have all of my like larger coats as well as my knit and then some shoes and as you can see i try my best to kind of color coordinate it to be completely honest, before I filmed this apartment tour, I didn't really go through my closet. So if you want like the most perfect epitome example of a sort of closet tour, be sure to watch that vlog. I'll leave that link down below for you guys. And then on this side right here, it's not a personal favorite, but you know, it is what it is. It's just like long sleeve stuff, pants. I use like designer boxes for like storage. There's like more just basic drawers up here. And then I have my bigger bags on the top. All right, you guys, uh, my daughter woke up while we were trying to film this. Say hi, can you say hi to that? She's just kind of waking up right now. For any of you guys who are new, this is my daughter, her name's Kira. I wanted to walk you guys through kind of this pillow situation that I have going on. And there's kind of a hack that I like to do. So the way you can see it, obviously we have, oh, these are my dogs, Mari. Or Mari is the brown one, Aiko is the black one. They're clearly just chilling. So the bolster pillow that's right behind Mari is like that really nice sort of tight knit, boucle, dark chocolate brown color. And then the pillows that I actually want to talk about is the ones behind them. So you can see this really nice like tan, almost linen, cotton like sort of material with the black trim. The reason why they look the way they do, the reason why they're standing up the way that they do, kind of a hack that I have learned through other interior designers, interior enthusiasts, and just like home decor people that I follow is you want to get a stuffing for the pillow that's one size up from the pillow case. So the pillow case is a 20 by 20 and the pillow insert is a 24 by 24. That is how you're getting that really nice like voluminous sort of look and feel. And that is why again it is standing up the way that it is. And I just feel like it looks really nice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they turn. Yeah. I promise Kira thinks it looks nice too. If you go to any sort of like 
hotel, boutique hotels, even just like interior design stores, they do this same hack and the same trick. So definitely check it out if you want to kind of up your sort of like pillow accessory game for your primary bedroom or even your guest bedroom. It's a really nice hack. And as you can see, in my humble opinion, I think it looks good. So I will have all of this stuff linked down below for you guys. Yeah. One bottle. this apartment tour with my daughter in my hand so I wanted to share with you guys just kind of like little moments in Kira's room that I find to be pretty sweet so let's talk about the artwork that's actually behind us right here so for Kira's room we actually had this really big piece of like a pink wallpaper here even though the pink was nice I just felt like it wasn't as personal for me and so I had this idea to actually use the pregnancy announcement Polaroids that we used and shot as artwork in her room and so that's what this is right here as you can see that's me Kia and then our two dogs and then that's Kira and obviously Kia's belly and then that's us and it's funny because when she's being changed on this Kikaru she like looks up here and looks at these photos so it's kind of a nice sort of sentimental sort of thing that kind of worked out as artwork want to fly want to fly hi <laughs> what to so bring you guys back into our primary room and show you guys her extended crib we actually just extended her crib recently and it was definitely a bittersweet moment she's definitely growing up super fast and the reason why the crib is in here is because we're currently trying to sleep train her so if any of you guys you know the parents you already know what it is I'm not going to kind of get into how that works, but I want to share with you guys just kind of what the primary bedroom really does look like when, you know, we're sleeping at night. So obviously you see the bed and then Kira's crib is right in front of it. For the most part, she's been getting better. So we're not fully there yet, but you know, obviously it takes time. I'll leave this crib linked down below for any of the parents that watch me. It's a definitely a great crib. It's a three in one. Look at how nice this crib is. It's like zoomed. I'm trying to make her smile. Kira! hallway that goes this way and then we have another hallway that goes this way so it kind of makes like an L but in this hallway right here there's actually a den which is what I'm standing in right now so I wanted to sh talk a little bit more about this space because this was definitely a space that we didn't necessarily know what to do it kind of served as storage for a long time but I think now it it's found its purpose and I've styled it to the best that I possibly can so it serves as a office seating area storage for the dogs more storage for my personal work stuff as well as <laughs> it actually still is a storage area but i made it a bit nicer so if any of you guys you know you have this sort of like awkward space in your home or your apartment and you're looking for some inspo as to what to do with a space like this i got you so this is the office portion we have a more ergonomic chair with a sit stand desk and then just a simple piece of artwork to kind of brighten up this space because there's no natural light coming into this room and then here is where I personally think all the fun happens. So this rack right here is a rack that I plan all of my outfits with. All the outfits that you guys see on YouTube and my fashion videos as well as on Instagram and TikTok, all that stuff. All right, tucked into this den here is just a little bit of everything. So this right here is just an interior design book 
the photo that you're seeing is a design from Jeremiah Brent and Nate Burkis, one of, or sorry, two of my favorite interior designers. So definitely had to kind of leave that open. Right beside it is a sample that I did with the article in goods. If you guys are new here, I design bags with a leather goods company from San Francisco at least about once a year. And this is actually a sample. The one that I did last year was a black version of this bag and it sold out. So we were sampling some stuff for the future. This is not gonna go into production, but it's just kind of here because this space is kind of, you know, essentially my work area. So I kind of like to look at it just to kind of remind myself of the success that the black bag had. And then to the left of that is just some coasters, a candle, and then the printer that we use for like my advent stuff. All right, you guys, and that is it from my 2023 official apartment tour. Like I said, and kind of has, as I've been saying throughout this video, this has definitely been my favorite design in terms of the apartments that we lived in. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the next space that we're in is a house, regardless if it's like renting or buying. We are definitely outgrowing this space, and it'll be kind of nice to see us in our home era. So fingers crossed for that. Our lease is up around the March time frame, so stay tuned for that. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed this apartment. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions in terms of where anything that you saw was, leave it in the comments down below and i'll be sure to get back to you guys and thank you so much for watching and hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing kira a little bit more in this video right here again thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace